आपको सीधी लाइव तस्वीरें दिखाते हैं एर्नाकुलम की जहां पर राहुल गांधी प्रेस वार्ता कर रहे हैं फाइटिंग अ मशीन दैट हैज अनलिमिटेड मनी अनलिमिटेड एबिलिटी टू प्रेशराइज पीपल अनलिमिटेड एबिलिटी टू बाय पीपल अनलिमिटेड एबिलिटी टू थ्रेटन पीपल एंड द आउटकम ऑफ दैट इज वॉट यू हैव सीन इन गोवा द यात्रा इज डिजाइन टू टेल द पीपल ऑफ इंडिया that they need to be united that they need to go back to an india which was loving and affectionate to itself uh, so these are two distinct things um, and of course the chief minister has every right to his opinion getting question can can you give him a mic that works can you hear me can you hear me yeah yeah it's been 15 days so you are initial you know feedback from the yatra and it, and we have seen good response in kerala but once it enters into bjp rule state you know, do you see this kind of momentum building up in other states i i see uh, kerala has been uh, frankly uh, overwhelming success and people have been coming out regardless of their affiliations um, so that is very very encouraging um, the success of the yatra is based on a couple of ideas first idea is that a india that stands united is not at war with itself is not angry with itself is not full of hatred is something that majority of indian people appreciate and like so that's one idea that is pushing the yatra there are two other ideas that are also pushing the yatra one is the level of unemployment that india is facing today devastating unemployment and that's just not a kerala issue that's across the country uh, and the third issue is the prices which are just skyrocketing these are the three ideas that are pushing and encouraging the yatra these ideas are interconnected there is a link between the spreading of hatred by the bjp rss the concentration of capital by a chosen few and the gross unemployment that india is facing and the massive increase in prices that india is facing these things are connected to each other and the people of india and the people of kerala are beginning to realize that my expectation is that it will not matter which state we go to the effect of the yatra will be the same in state after state after state regardless of who's running that state because there is an underlying problem now in india and the people of india and particularly the youth of india are feeling tremendous pain any question rahul ji rahul ji ha please right in the front row rahul ji to make this uh, fruitful you are uh, to make your yatra fruitful you should have uh, uh, travel through up uh, more than uh, two days no that was an opinion now uh, well, uh, came from uh, the cpi well, circle the the thing is that the yatra is a is a yatra that goes from one point of india to another point of india that's the idea and that's the way we have designed the route uh, we are not going to up we are going to up for probably a little while but we are for example not going to bihar we are not going to west bengal we are not going to uh, gujarat right and the reason is that it is a yatra from one end of india to another end of india uh, that's because frankly uh, we can't walk 10000 kilometers either right so there is a limit there is a there is a limit to sort of the uh, the route and stuff like that don't don't worry about that because we we have a view on what needs to be done in uttar pradesh we have a very clear view so don't worry about that yes sir rahul ji Uh, 
uh, in the last press conference, I made my position very clear. Uh, you know, then that remains my position. I mean, I've explained it multiple times. Just take a look. Just take a look at the last press conference. You'll see exactly what I said. Look, I have repeated myself many, many times. Take a look at the last press conference, and you'll you'll have a very good sense of what I said. Alji, uh, we all know you have a national perception. So my uh, question to you is, what is the one piece of advice you would give to those who want to contest for the office of Congress President? One piece of advice that you are taking on a, a position, it's a historic position, um, and it's a position that defines and has defined uh, a particular view of India. The Congress President is not just an organizational post. The Congress President is a ideological post. It, it is a belief system. So my advice would be that whoever becomes Congress president should remember that he represents a set of ideas. He represents a belief system and he represents a vision of India. Yes, the one in the blue shirt, please. Uh, Rahulji, we all know your Padayatra have a greater national perspective, but your Yatra now is in Kerala. Every day, uh, the Congress, Kerala Congress leader is raising new issues against the state government, but not a single word against the Pindrai government in your speech in Kerala. How are you evaluating the left government in Kerala? Look, an evaluation of the left government in Kerala uh, is better done by the leadership of the Congress in Kerala. I am um, very clear what my goal is uh, with regards to this Yatra. My goal with regards to this Yatra is to put across to the people of India that the hatred, the violence and the arrogance that is now visible in our country is not good for our country. This country has a tradition of humility, of non-violence, of compassion and that is actually the true India. The two other ideas that I am placing on the table is the level of disparity between rich and poor in India has now reached a point of no return. The poor are suffering high prices, unemployment, and they are going through very, very painful times. And then there is a handful of people who have <coughs> immense wealth. And my position is that this contrast is not good for India. That is what I am focusing on. Of course, as far as the left front goes, uh, I have an ideological disagreement with them. Uh, and I have, I have issues with how they view uh, politics, you know, and, and Kerala. Yes, <laughs> many. मैंने मैंने पिछले प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में बहुत क्लियरली बता दिया था आप थोड़ी पेशेंस रखिए आपको पता लग जाएगा क्या होने वाला है मेरा मेरा कम्युनिकेशन मेरा कम्युनिकेशन जो कांग्रेस वर्कर हैं वो हम एक परिवार हैं मेरा कम्युनिकेशन उनके साथ डायरेक्ट होता है मीडिया के थ्रू नहीं होता है तो मेरा डायरेक्ट लिंक है उनके साथ और वो जो जो मुझसे पूछते हैं मैं उनको डायरेक्टली बता देता हूं एवरी क्वेश्चन इज कनेक्टेड टू दैट आइडिया Again, 
I have, I have made my position clear and I don't want to delve on this subject because I'm, you're making me answer the same question six, seven times. Right? I've made my clear position very clear. You can look at many such interactions that have taken place in the past. You'll get my answer. It's always been the same. इसको आप भारत यात्री नहीं कह सकते इसको आप पता नहीं पांच से पांच छह डिस्ट्रिक्ट के यात्री कह सकते हो तो लेट्स सी लेट्स सी एज इट गोज अलोंग यही सवाल आप मुझसे 100 110 दिन बाद पूछिए मैं आपको बेहतर जवाब दे पाऊंगा जो what we have decided जो हमने उदयपुर में decide किया वो कांग्रेस पार्टी का एक commitment है तो I expect that commitment will be maintained देखिए अलग-अलग व्यक्ति अलग-अलग चीजों के बारे में बोलते हैं फिशरमैन से मिले तो फिशरमैन कहते हैं कि जो हमारी जमीन है उस पर इंक्रोचमेंट किया जा रहा है और जो हमारे हमारा जीने का तरीका है उस पर आक्रमण हो रहा है आप रबर वर्कर्स से पूछिए तो वो भी आपको दूसरे तरीके से ये कहेंगे कि देखिए अफ्रीका से इंपोर्ट हो रहा है और हमें नुकसान हमारा नुकसान हो रहा है मगर वो भी यही कह रहे हैं इनडायरेक्टली वो भी यही कह रहे हैं कि जो हमारी जमीन है उस पर आक्रमण हो रहा है उस पर हमें प्रेशर लग रहा है और फिर आप आगे जाएं और पूछें भैया मगर ये हो क्यों रहा है फिर वो आपको जवाब देते हैं कि हिंदुस्तान में दो तीन चार बड़े-बड़े उद्योगपति हैं जो सब कुछ कर सकते हैं पोर्ट चला सकते हैं एयरपोर्ट चला सकते हैं एग्रीकल्चर का काम कर सकते हैं साइलोज बना सकते हैं जो भी करना चाहते हैं कर सकते हैं और जो सहायता हमें मिलनी चाहिए चाहे वो बैंक से हो चाहे वो सरकार से वो हमें नहीं मिलती तो घुमा फिर कर हम वहीं उन तीनों मुद्दों पे पहुंच जाते हैं I believe I believe you have a new owner. Do you you have a new owner? That's what I'm talking about. Right? I'm you I'm I'm gonna answer your question, but that's just an example of what I was saying. I'm, I'm going to answer a question, but by the way, one, one second, by the way, ownership of newspapers is not immaterial at all. Ownership of newspapers defines what newspapers do. Yeah. I am, as I have repeatedly said, this is a yatra being done by hundreds of congress people actually in kerala now lakhs of people i am a participant in this yatra you choose to focus everything on me right this is your choice but the idea of the yatra is hundreds thousands lakhs of congress people walking from 
one side, one point in India to the other point in India, right? So, of course, I have a view, I have uh, an idea of why I'm doing the Yatra. But there are millions of people now who are involved in this. Any questions on this? And, and your question about, uh, you know, whether I'm a candidate or whether I'm not a candidate is designed to distract from what we're doing. And I'm not going to fall into that trap. Any question that is not a variation on the Congress president question, please. Please don't go round and round, round and round. Please ask a question on the Bharat Jodha Sir, today there are raids that are happening across the country on PFI uh, leaders' houses and PFI offices. I can't hear you. Today there are raids that are happening across the country on PFI offices and PFI leaders' houses. About 105 of them have been arrested. There, there are also talks that this could be a first step before banning them and PFI is claiming that this is basically uh, vendetta because uh, uh, the ruling uh, party is trying to muff, uh, muffle their voice. What is your view on this? What's your reaction? My, my view is that all forms of communalism, all forms of violence, regardless of where they come from, are the same and should be combated. There should be zero tolerance on communism regardless of where it's coming from. The people who are walking with us in the Bharat Jodo Yatra are evaluating the left front government. They are telling you what they think about the left front government. It is not my place. By walking, they are giving you a sentiment. Right? But my main aim in this Yatra, and I have repeatedly said it, my focus in this Yatra is the hatred the anger, the violence that the BJP and the RSS are spreading. I don't want to get into a conversation that diverts me from that aim. My aim is very clear. Point number one, we are not going to accept an India which is divided, hateful. We are not going to accept it. Neither is the Congress party going to accept it, neither is the opposition going to accept it, neither are the people of India going to accept it. Point number two, we are not going to accept an India where our youngsters cannot get employment. Point number three, we are not going to accept an India where the poor people are drowning in high prices. This is my message and I am not going to get distracted from this message. Well, to be honest with you, yeah. I've got a lot of left front workers coming and shaking hands with me. I mean, they're there, they're on the sides of the roads uh, because they appreciate they appreciate the idea of what we are doing of course it becomes very difficult in political combat for senior leaders of the left front to support what we're doing and I understand that but inside their heart right, even they know that the point I'm raising the idea that India is being divided, hatred is being spread in India. In their heart, they know I am raising a correct point. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Sir, so, the Bharat Jodo Yatra, the government has been given to the Rahul Gandhi. What? Rahul Gandhi? मैंने दो तीन बार आज बोल दिया है 
कि मेरा क्लियर फोकस है भारत यात्रा भारत जोड़ो यात्रा हम क्यों कर रहे हैं वो मैंने आपको बताया क्लियरली बताया और वही हमारा लक्ष्य देखिए हिंदुस्तान की पॉलिटिक्स में कोई भी एक्शन लिया जाए कोई भी एक्शन अगर मैं यहां बाहर जाके पांच लोगों से बात करूं तो आप कहेंगी 2024 के लिए ये आपने बात की है अगर मैं जाके वहां पे कहीं किसी के साथ आइसक्रीम खा लू आप कहेंगी देखो आइसक्रीम खाइए दो हजार चौबीस के लिए आइसक्रीम खाइए मगर ये सच्चाई नहीं है 2024 से मेरे मुताबिक आज सबसे जरूरी बात जो हिंदुस्तान को बांटा जा रहा है तोड़ा जा रहा है जो नफरत फैलाई जा रही है वो है yes, sir.